Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, um, hi, hello, how are you? I'm so happy you're here. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad, and I am a full-time reseller. So what that means is that I just resell. I don't do anything other than YouTube, but I don't really make that much money off of this. So this is more of a hobby. <laughs> that hopefully makes me money someday, but not right now. Anyway, um, <clears throat> if you like hauls, if you like what sold videos or tips and tricks videos, you want might want to hit the subscribe button or at least consider it and leave me a like and it will give me a like, hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love comments. Also liking a video and commenting on a video does help people in the algorithm. So if you like the creator that you're watching, you should always try to remember to leave a comment and um, heart it, at least like the video because that helps out. Anyway, thank you so much. Anyway, so this is gonna be part two of my make a haul of 147 pounds. I think it was 147 pounds. I hope you enjoy. Oh yeah, I got this hat. Does this have a, it doesn't have a brand. It's just <laughs> that hat. Okay, I can't wear that with pigtails. Apparently that's not what, it doesn't work out. This was in a bin that had not a lot in it. So I was kind of surprised this was actually in there. Um, but this is, I'm gonna hold it up. Let's see if you can tell who it is before I tell you who it is. And if you guessed, put it down in the comments that you guessed it before I tell you, Lululemon. Now, this is a zero, so it's tiny. She tiny. I don't know if she will fit on my mannequin, which is a 6'8", but sometimes I can get, like, size zero and size two on her. It depends on how much I give it has. So this has a little bit of give, so I probably could. But it has these pockets. This looks practically brand new. This does not look like someone used it at all or even washed it. There's the uh, logo on the zipper pull. This is in great condition. So I was really excited to find that. All right. This is, what are you? Okay, this is Retroology. It's not like a really super high-end brand. It's just cute. So I picked it up. Why not? Okay. Ooh, some of these, oh my God, some of these shoes. This needs a little cleanup on the heel. This is Vince Camuto. I do pick up these kinds of shoes. It's this leather, but I thought this was really just kind of a cute. I need to fix the back of it there a little bit, but it's a size eight medium. Over there. This is the other Chaco. Um, this is J. Crew. See that in the bottom. Um, it is. Uh, does it tell me the? It's a size nine. It's leather. So yeah, it's a, it's just leather. These cool shoes, boots, whatever. Um, and they're in pretty good condition. So I was really happy to find those. I did find these Merrells. I pick them up. I will buy Meryl, even when it's not the right time of year for it. Because somebody, I mean, there's a little little wear right there. But I don't think the other side, yeah, the other one doesn't have that. I'll, you know, I'll show it obviously in the bottom. But I don't think it'll really affect, you know, wearing it. Okay. That box can go over there. All right. So these are the Angel by Adriana. Adriano Goldschmied. So these are a flare leg. Are they flare? Yeah. Flare boot camp. But I think they're a flare though. They don't seem to have anything wrong with them. So I was happy to pick those up. Okay. I'm getting hot now. Um, What are you? Okay. You're seeing. That's the. Oh, this is Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Whatever. This is just a cute dress. Okay. That has a weight that goes, it's like a cowl neck dress. Thought, why not? Dark floral. So I picked it up. Oh, I was really excited to find this one. I've never found Tracy Reese. Like, I found plenty, but never Tracy Reese. Sometimes this is sold at Anthropology. 
I don't know if this one was. I could see this one being sold in Anthropology. This really gave me Peruvian Connection vibes. But look how pretty this is. This is uh, wool, a wool dress. But look at this beautiful embroidery. Like, it is stunning. And the embroidery is on the back. So I was really excited to find this. Um, it is a size small. It's 55% wool, 45% rayon. And yeah, I think that will do well. This is a Steve Madden uh, bag. It's like a backpack bag. This is like nylon. The trim is probably full leather. There's Steve Madden. This is sold at Nordstrom's. This line is sold at Nordstrom's. So I do pick up some Steve Madden stuff. This I couldn't resist. This is Fossil. And you can tell by the little key. They don't always go for a whole lot. But after I clean it up, I think it'll go for a, a little bit. This is real leather, though. And I do like the knot, the knot feature. I think that looks cool. Has this, like, shoulder strap. So you can take it off and just have this if you want. It's almost like a little briefcase. It does have three compartments. So I was excited about that. Another one. I think I put another purse inside here. <laughs> Let me see. No, I did not. Okay. This is also fossil. Tell about the key. And I don't know if this is leather. I need to look on the inside. Let's see. Are you leather? Nope, it's synthetic which is fine. I don't mind picking up synthetic. It doesn't feel real, but it doesn't feel bad. It just doesn't feel real. But some people don't want to buy leather. So got to cater to those two people too, right? This was just a fun bag. Somebody made this rice bag into a bag that zips up top. So I thought, why not? How fun is that? Totally deep up. I'm not gonna put it with the rest of the stuff because it's kind of, it kind of, uh, sloughs off a little bit. So sincerely Jules. Um, I think this is an Australian brand. I'm not sure though. No, it's not. She is. I think she's an Instagram influencer that created her online. I think. I don't know. Tell me below. <laughs> Apparently I don't know, but I got it because I thought it was cute. It's like a chenille. Um, it's not, it's, it feels a lot like, uh, um, barefoot dreams, not quite as soft, but it is pretty soft. This is made out of polyester. All right. So this is a skirt. It's loft. It's a size four. It's really cute pink. It's like a, almost like a Pepto-Bismol pink, which might come off as, yeah, it's Pepto-Bismol. If you grew up in America, Chances are you had that as a child, especially if you grew up in America during the 80s. A lot of moms like to give their kid Pepto-Bismol. It made me throw up every single time. That was like bad, bad stuff. Okay. So um, this is Basic Editions. This is a 2X. But this gave me some cottage core, kind of kawaii twee vibes. Um, and if you... Got it, like, see, like, yeah. You can see the different, like, patterns in the knitting. I just, I could not pick it up. And it's 2X, so, you know, everyone deserves some clothes. And I can model that one. This is, um, never heard of this brand. Come on. Jacket without the C, um, is just this very uh, lag and looky type dress, very utilitarian. Um, oh, is it pleating? No, pleating's fine. Oh, some of the pleating is out. So this had some pin tuck pleating right here, so I can fix that. Looks like some of it came out, and that's probably why they gave it away. Yeah, I can totally fix that. That's not hard. Cool. All right. So that's a project. 
Let's see. I do believe that's 100% linen, though. It feels like it. This is suede. This is Amy. This is old. This is an old Amy tag. So I'm saying this is vintage Amy. But this is a kind of, you know, this is a suede, black suede jacket. And that's in right now. So, I mean, when is when are black leather and suede jackets not in? Really? Maybe some styles. I'm getting hot. But, <clears throat> oh, this was 11, cent, 11 Zs. And these are these really cute crop wide leg. Is that, that that's not Cedar Sucker, but that's a petite stripe, right? Fat pants. So that was sold by Anthropology. I don't think it is sold anymore by Anthropology. So that's an older piece for sure. But I seem like the day to pick up older pieces. So I ended up picking quite a few older pieces up, not of Anthropology, just in general. This is Albert Nippin Studio. This is vintage. But how cute is this? Like, it's like a plum purple. Oh, I guess it's more like an eggplant. Eggplant purple. It's kind of a cross between. Um, and I think it's wool. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's 100% wool, acetate trim. Or trim is cotton, sorry. Acetate lining. So it is a vintage jacket i think that will do well uh probably do well on depop but it will do well probably other places as well okay this is a denim jacket i love to pick up denim jackets so i pick them up i don't care really what what brand it is honestly this is nautica the size large this is a woman's trucker jacket and it has buttons so, yeah, I like to pick these up. And this one only, oh, this, this one, oh, yeah, it has a hidden button. So there's the buttons, but it, it hides it. So when it's buttoned, you can't really see the buttons. That is getting my little mountain over there. Okay, so this needs some fixing. So it has some snaps missing from the back, which I have snaps. So I can totally put those on there. Just sew them on. They're not hard. But look how cute this dress is. This is totally like 70s vibe. Um, yeah, I get total 70s vibes from this. So that's the front and this is the back. So look at that. Yeah, so I'm going to fix the snaps on that. And if you're a reseller, and of course, you don't have to fix things. No one has to do anything. However, teach yourself how to do some things. Teach yourself how to snow, uh, snow. Teach yourself how to sew a button, how to blind stitch a hem, and how to uh, sew on snaps. That will save you from a lot of distress, I, I believe, in my opinion. So as a reseller, I learned those things as a child. So luckily, I grew up knowing how to do that, those things. But if you don't, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that will give you that information. And they're really easy. Five minutes can say, can make you 50 to a hundred dollars. Sometimes, you know, I have some things I think are worth it. If, if, it, if it's only going to sell for $10, don't fix it. If it's going to sell for a bit, like I say, $25 or more, and it'll take you five, five to 10 minutes to fix it, then fix it. Anyway, off my soapbox and on to the next please. <laughs> this is lucky brand extra large and this is just a basically a thermal pick it up okay this is super soft I believe it's cashmere it's ll bean 100 cashmere purple sweater how pretty is that so and it has like that waffle knit so yeah i was excited to find that Always happy to find cashmere, 100%. Okay, so this, um, Shang, Shang, Shanghai Tang, sorry, 
And I thought, why not? This is a cool graphic long sleeve tee. Um, I'm going to, it's faded. So I'm going to wash it with my Perlwall, which is a German brand of detergent. And it brings back like the richness of black if or dark colors. If you use one, I have one for white, one for blacks and darks and one for colors. And it does actually work pretty good, especially on like cotton. It doesn't work too well like on polyester, but it does work really well on cotton in my experience so far. Okay, so this is Old Navy. I will pick up Old Navy trucker jackets. I will pick up almost any brand of trucker jacket. Honestly, I will. Because people don't end up, I don't think people care as much about the brand of the jacket necessarily. Unless it's like iconic, an iconic trucker, ja trucker jacket that you know by looking at it who it's by. But most you can't, honestly. Okay. This is Sonoma. I do pick up some Sonoma stuff. If I like the style, I like this style. I thought this was cute. A good size, an extra large. And I think it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. No, it's cotton, nylon, rayon, whatever. It feels nice. Okay, this has no real brand. <laughs> but I got it because it's cute. This is a medium, but it's, it's an oversized medium for sure. This will fit me. This is a hooded, like, galaxy space type of, uh, what do you call it? Tie-dye. So I picked that up. Sometimes if it has no brand, but it's super, super cute, it goes into my cart. Okay. This is Talbot. Needs a little fixing up. But look at the buttons. So cute. And it's a sweater dress. This long sweater dress. So why not? And what are you made out of? Let's see if it tells me. It feels soft. And Talbot tends to use good stuff. So it's cotton, acrylic, and polyester. All right. Sometimes they use really premium, but that is a nice feel to it. So, okay. This is, I think it's vintage. Dual control, famous wear. This is Western wear, large. Um, the shell is leather. The back is nylon. It's a suede vest it has oh it's missing a button does it have extra button no damn it all right so here's what i can do with this here are my options i can replace all four buttons with ones that are as small or sell it as is i probably will sell it as is um because sometimes it's hard to replace four buttons um because they all kind of need to match sometimes okay this is market and spruce this is a stitch fix brand this is an extra large but how cute is this mustard yellow it's like a dark mustard yellow i like that cowl neck very comfy I need to put my start my new mountain over here okay so this is Freedom Foundry, Dry Goods. This is a X, this is a 3X. But I thought this would be a good, like, shacket. Because it's nice and thick flannel. And I think it's 100% cotton. These usually are. Yep. So why not? Okay. This I will need to send through the Perwall. Um, I'll see if they can bring this back to life. I thought this was just really cute. This is Effie's Heart. And the last thing I had, last time I had something with Effie's Heart, I think it sold relatively fast. But look how cute that is. And then there's the back. So, yeah. Why not? Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> this. Okay. Need to combine this a little bit. Um, okay. This is and the Y. I have no idea. I've never heard of this brand. 
I just liked the pullover has pockets. So I figured why not? It is animal print, which is not really in right now. I need some coffee. I love my, I have happy Halloween and then I have boo. That's the only Ray Dunn Halloween ones I have. And then I have sip. So I'm collecting more of them as I see them. I got thrift stores and stuff like that. I did find a canister set. So it's a set of five. So I have flour, sugar, snack, which has popcorn kernels in it. Because that's our snack. And um, tea and coffee. I think that's all. Yeah. Anyway, I thought, and they were all in good condition, so I bought them. Um, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, 100% cotton. I do try to pick up these because I don't think they make them anymore. It's a Paisley pillowcase. I one time found, and if you find the bears, pick them up. It was a king size bears. Like it was plaid, but it had bears all over it. And it was Lauren Ralph Lauren and it was hundred uh, percent cotton. And I sold that. I bought that for $4 at the thrift store. And I basically sold it in a couple of days or a day for $200 on eBay. So if you find the Teddy print, look it up. All I had was the, um, the top and the bottom sheet. I didn't have any pillowcases and it still sold for 200. Somebody else had it up there for 1200. <laughs> they didn't sell theirs. Pretty sure. Cabby old old tag cabby um but it's cute like look how adorable that is um uh, and if i don't want to sell it i think all the beads are there and if i don't want to sell it i can send it to flip so flip does accept cabby it is a sweater so it's season appropriate and i think i will be sending some things to flip soon because i just can't process it all i don't think this is blue label ralph lauren 100% lamb's wool. No, not sorry. 90% lamb's wool, 10% cashmere. So it's pretty soft. And it's like a, um, it's a men's. It's a men's uh, sweater. And it has a little polo player. So I picked that up. Um, I liked picking up. This is J. Crew. Larged. This is the Taylor Fit shirting, washing, wash casual. So I like to pick up these because people will buy them. These might not go for a lot, but that's okay. So I did get, you know, you always get a mix. You get some things that are not going to sell for a lot. You get some things that are going to sell for quite a bit. And you get some things that are going to be bread and butter and sell basically in the middle of the road. I've been having good uh, good luck with Gap recently, jeans. So I've been picking them up. This is 26R Gap. Um, I don't know if this has any. The other two had were like the cheeky jean and stuff like that. Um, this is the vintage mid-rise medium indigo. Girlfriend vintage mid-rise. So that's what this one is. Okay, this is... J. Crew as well. So I think it's older. This is men's, I do believe. So it's kind of like a men's, like Henley. Uh, ex extra large, 100% cotton. All right. This, what are you? I think this one's actually pretty good, right? I don't know. I'll have to look into it. This is Ashley B. Bernardo. I don't know if this is good or not. Um, let's see what you're made out of. Cause I think it had some premium fabric, but I could be wrong. Okay. So yeah, the outer shell is hundred percent wool and the knit is 50% wool, 50% acrylic. So like this part is wool, but this knit part is acrylic and wool. Um, this is like a chore jacket. So I will put chore, barn, that kind of thing. Because that's what someone would probably wear this for. I mean, it can work for almost anything. But this is Nike. This is a small. It has XX on there. So I don't know if that's a reference to Super Bowl. It might be. I don't know. This 
is a wool coat. I don't know if it's 100% wool, but it's Croft and Borrow. And yeah, I know. But let's see if it is. This is cute. Is it 100% wool? Does it tell me? Oh, it does tell me. Okay. This is 70% wool and 13% polyester and 9% nylon. But this is a coat and it has a belt and a, you know, it needs some cleaning up. But I, I decided it's, it's a nice jacket to pick up. And why not? And the belt is right here through one of the loops. So I think that will do well. Even though it's Croft and Barrow, I think it'll still do okay. All right. Pull some stuff over. Oh, my God. We got three more bags left. <laughs> well... This will be chopped up after I'm, I'm going to record this all at the same time and then chop it up later. So yeah, this needs some help. <laughs> Mad, Madwell, Madewell. Um, it is a, I think it's a Kent cardigan. Um, it needs some serious depilling. Polyamide, polyamide, merino wool and alpaca and elastane. Um, this is... What are you? North Shore Surf Hawaii. I do like to pick up the um, um, board shorts that are have like these loud um, like Hawaiian prints on it. Because in my experience, that does the best. This is, I don't know. I've never heard of this band. Bossini, 100% wool. But it's just a nice cream wool um sweater i think it's men's it looks like men's okay this i don't know i think it's wool it feels like wool um but look how pretty this is so but there's no markings of any kind but it does it feels like a wool you know oh yeah these i was nope these are not the ones I was excited about, but these I was I was happy to find as well. H and M, but they're size fourteen. And look at these nice wide leg career pants. So in a nice size. So I picked it up. Um, I'm gonna probably sell for twenty twenty five dollars. I'm okay with that. This is a. This is Brave Soul is a very sheer um, button-up cami. This I really loved. This is DL. Never heard of it. It's large, but I really love this boxy style of sweater. And it's like a short, like three-quarter sleeves. It looks, you know, somewhat handmade. I don't know. It's not, obviously. But it kind of has that, like, feel to it. Okay. This is Talbox again. I do like picking up Talbox. I generally try to stick to bigger sizes, but I thought this was really nice. So I picked it up. And what are you made out of? I think this is made out of... I'm never going to guess. It's polyester, acrylic, and wool. So... It's a blend. Oh, yeah. This is the one that someone gave to me. So I don't know how good this is, but we'll, I'm going to have to look it up and we'll, I'll find out. So this is Mar Mary Line made in Italy. Large. This is really cute. Like, I don't know, cardigan that you pull over. It's mohair. It's made in Italy. Acrylic mohair wool blend. So I was excited about that. Some lady's like, do you want this? I'm like, yeah, this is forever 21, but I picked it up because it is fucking adorable. Look how cute that is. So very like boho, um, very like modern type seventies is a small. We've all seen the tag forever 21, but I'll show you anyway. Now forever 21. I, I, Used to pick up at the beginning, then I stopped picking all of it up, and now I'm actually starting to pick some of it up. Now, there's a couple reasons why I started picking some of it up, and sometimes I can sell it for a pretty good amount. 
Now the Forever 21 Plus line, I do like to pick up some of those pieces. I don't pick up all, obviously. I pick up specific pieces, right? There was like a piece of mohair just floating in the air. <laughs> um, also, a lot of Forever 21 stores have shut down because of the, you know, the ongoing panini we have right now. And um, so I do pick up some of that stuff because it's not accessible to as many people as it used to be before. They shut down quite a few of those stores. And that, so, oh, okay. my friends, <laughs> is the last piece. So thank you so much for watching. Our last piece of whichever video this ends up being. I think I'm going to break this into three different videos. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. Lister, I'm going to list my little ass off and get this shit listed. Thank you so much for watching.